What's going on everybody? You see a Jaguar and I just got back to Orlando from the Jaguars game and we just whooped the Houston Texans ass, taking them down by a final score of 45 to 7. And for the first time in 10 years, the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to the playoffs. Let's go! I know a lot of you guys have been suffering a long, long time with me and it's been some really bad years. I mean, we've had to go through Gabbert, we had to go through Malarkey, we've had to go through the Gus Bradley era, but we are looking at a Jacksonville Jaguars team that is 10 and 4, and we are now for sure 100% 100 have a playoff berth locked. And we dominated, or we won, we got that in dominating fashion, uh, beating the Texans 45 to 7. This game was never in doubt. I mean, at the end of the first half, you had to score 31 to nothing. And then the second half, like, we basically benched all our stars in the fourth quarter. And uh, it was just absolutely surreal. I mean, Blake Bortles went out there. He had another extremely impressive game. He's only had better and better games these last three weeks. Um, this game, he, had a, he went 21 for 29, 72% completion percentage. 326 yards, three touchdowns, and zero interceptions. And Blake Bortles has just been money. Uh, it's it's so awesome to see how well that he's been doing. And uh, you know, I mean, he's he's hitting some guys in stride. He's throwing some pretty balls. Um, you know, you're having our you know young receiver core definitely stepping up. Uh, you had Keelan Cole. He got 186 yards and a touchdown. Jaden Mickens, he added on two touchdowns himself with about a little over 50 yards receiving. And it's just it's just absolutely crazy. And, uh, you know, we just dominated the Texans. I mean, TJ Yates, he went 12 for 31 with a 39% completion percentage, 128 yards, one touchdown, one interception. And, uh, you know, I know the Texans are injured and everything, and they're going to use that as an excuse. But here's the thing. The Jacksonville Jaguars week one on offense, we went out there, you know, with Blake Bortles as a starter, but if you look at all the other skill positions, we had Leonard Fournette at running back, Allen Robinson at receiver, Allen Hearns at receiver, Marquise Lee at receiver. None of those guys were even here. I mean, granted, Marquise Lee was in the game and he got injured early, but, uh, you know, you look and we are dominating, have a dominating offense with pretty much backups in. I mean, it's unreal, and this team... Oh my god, this team is so much fun to watch. Clowney, you know, last week Blake Bortles whooped up on the Seahawks and then Earl Thomas comes out there and says, oh, we just lost a subpar quarterback. And then now Javion Clowney comes out there and says that Blake Bortles is trash. Man, get your predator looking ass out of here, bro. I mean, first of all, you're number one overall pick in a 2014 draft. You have not lived up to those expectations. And you're going to come out here after Blake Bortles dominates you, not once this year, but twice this year. And you're going to come out and say he's trash, man. Get the hell out of here. Uh, this dude is a clown. His name is literally Clowny. He's clowning out out there. And this dude just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's funny. Like Blake Bortles said, teams just aren't used to getting the crap beaten out of them by the Jaguars. And that's what the Jaguars are doing. And it's so much fun to watch. Uh, our defense, you know, we went out there and had another dominating performance. Uh, you let up a long ball to DeAndre Hopkins so he can try to pad some fantasy stats for people in the playoffs. But um, just an unreal game. Jaguars sitting at 10-4. and four. Something that we never thought the Jaguars were going to do, especially in a preseason when we look like shit. I mean, we look so bad and we just thought that we were going to be in for a long year, but... Our team, we have a legit team, and the Titans went down today. So we have a whole two-game lead on the AFC South, and uh, if the Jaguars either win next week or if the Titans lose to the Rams, which is very, very likely going to happen, the Jaguars are going to have the AFC South clinch. So how do you guys like that? Uh, Jaguars, what a, what a year it's been. It's been so much fun. Uh, you know, Jaguars, I believe they had six wins at home this year, most wins since 2007. And, uh, you know, I mean, long suffering Jaguar fans, this one's for you guys, man. Uh, you know, I've been along there with you guys. I mean, Jaguars haven't had a winning season since I was 13 years old. You know, now I'm a college graduate working full time. And, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's so much fun. I mean, I'm so excited to see this team in the playoffs. Uh, you know, we're going to give some teams pro problems, I really think. I mean, uh, you look at the, uh, you know, you look at our defense. I mean, we are able to get pressure with four guys in there. Um, we have elite, co we have elite cover guys. And with the way Blake Borles is playing, I mean, there's no telling where we can go. Uh, it's just, it's unreal. I mean, hopefully we can keep up this production. Uh, two more weeks left in the regular season before playoff time. And, uh, man, I don't even remember what the playoffs are like, but I'm going to embrace it. It's going to be so much fun. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, go Jaguars, baby. This is UCF Jaguar with JinJag.com. Go Jags. We playoff bound, baby.